today's video is going to be about grounded conductors versus grounding conductors versus grounding electrodes. Now, three very simple terms, but they get confused quite often. So I thought I would touch base on this one um, just to explain the differences of what they are. Um, that way, you know, it eliminates any confusion out there. So let's just get right into it. First off, let's talk about the grounded conductor. A grounded conductor is defined as a system or circuit conductor that is intentionally grounded. When something is grounded in accordance with the NEC, it is connected to ground or to a conductive body that extends the ground connection. Some grounded conductors are also neutral conductors. So here's an example right here. We got a grounded conductor is a system circuit intentionally grounded. Ground is defined as earth. So right here, we got the grounded conductor. Grounded neutral conductor. Neutral conductors from the NEC 2020 200.4 neutral conductors neutral conductors shall be installed in accordance with 200.4 a and b here's the enhanced content the grounded conductor is often but not always the neutral conductor a neutral conductor is one that is connected to the neutral point of an electrical system some electrical systems do not have a neutral conductor for example in a three-phase corner grounded delta system the intentionally grounded conductor is not a neutral conductor because it is not connected to a system neutral point. Because the conductor is con connected to the same grounding electrode system as the non-current carrying metal parts of the electrical equipment, generally no potential difference exists between the grounded conductor and those grounded metal parts. However, unlike an equipment grounding conductor, the grounded conductor is a current carrying circuit conductor. Whether it is referred to as the grounded conductor or as the neutral conductor, the white or gray markings on a circuit conductor indicate that it is intentionally connected to earth. Electric shock injuries and electrocutions have occurred as a result of working on the grounded conductors. While the circuit is energized, extremely caution must be exercised where the grounded neutral conductor is part of the multi-branch circuit. So basically what it's saying here is that a grounded conductor carries a current. So it is a current carrying circuit conductor. So that's the important thing to realize here. So in many cases, not all, but many cases, the grounded connector conductor, I'm sorry, is the neutral. Grounding conductors, or EGC, the grounding conductor equipment, EGC, a conductive path or paths that is part of an effective ground fault current path and connects normally non-current carrying metal parts of the equipment together into the system grounded conductor or to the grounding electro conductor or both. The grounding conductor is used for safety purposes. In normal condition, the grounding wire does not carry current. Under a fault condition, the grounding wire provides a low resistant path to the current and it provides an alternate path to current under fault conditions. Hence, the current will flow through the ground conductor instead of a human body or internal part of the equipment. So the key here is that it's not a normal current carrying conductor, but it is there for safety. So the grounding conductor can carry current but only in a ground fault situation so it's there purely for safety it doesn't normally carry current so that's your typical ground wire uh, your green ground wire your equipment ground wire um, bonding uh, for bonding purposes to the metal boxes everything like that And here's some examples. Identification of the equipment grounding conductors, 250.119. Equipment grounding conductors of the wire type can be bare or must have an outer finish that is green or green with one or more yellow stripes. So this is an example right here. And this one here shows the example of all three. So here's your grounded service conductor right here, your neutral. Your equipment grounding terminal bar bonded to the enclosure and then your equipment grounding conductor. 
And then over here, what we're going to get into next is the grounding electroconductor. So this one's very simple and um, very easy to explain. The grounding electrode, a conducting object through which a direct connection to Earth is established. So your grounding conductor is connected to the grounded electrode or grounding electrode. So right here we have an example of it being attached to the metal frame, which the metal frame is then attached to the bolts. And then these bolts are actually connected to um, the um, rods uh, going through the concrete. So that concrete case electrode right there, that's your uh, grounding electrode. And then over here, a nice easy one is the ground rods. These are your grounding electrodes. So again, it's just conducting object through which a direct connection to earth is established. So we went over the grounded conductor, which is generally speaking the neutral, the grounding conductors or EGC, which is the wire for safety attaching to uh, devices that don't normally carry current. And then the grounding electrode is the uh, object that is direct with con direct contact to the earth. And that's it for today, guys.